Hi, I'm Tim Gordon of the film Gordon, and welcome to Real Reviews. Now in the show, we discuss my views on upcoming films where we invite you to experience film through the eyes of a true film addict. You can also read or listen to past reviews either on thefilmgordon.com or subscribe to this podcast on our YouTube channel. And we also invite you to follow us at Film Gordon on Facebook, Twitter, or Instagram. Now this week on the show, we discuss Mortal Kombat, which is a martial arts fantasy film that focuses on MMA fighter Cole Young, who seeks out Earth's greatest champions to stand against the enemies of Outworld in a high stakes battle for the universe. Directed by Simon McQuo and his feature directorial debut from a screenplay by Greg Russo and Dave Callahan and a story by Oren Uziel and Russo. The film is based on the video game franchise of the same name created by Ed Boon and John Tobias serving as a reboot to the Mortal Kombat film series. The film stars Louis Tan, Jessica McNamee, Josh Lawson, Tanabu Asano, Makad Brooks, Ludi Lin, Chin Han, Joe Taslim, and Hiroyuko Sonata. Now, one year after Earth's mightiest heroes came together to avenge the Earth, this latest film finds the planet under attack again. After we witness the death of one of, his, one of the greatest ninjas, Hanzo Hasashi, Hiroyuko Sonata at the hands of his arch nemesis, Bihan, played by Taslam. The Thunder Guard, Lord Raiden, escorts his spirit to the Never Realm, where his demise will play a pivotal role in the battle between Earth Realm and Outer World, and Outworld, excuse me, in the upcoming deathmatch tournaments known as Mortal Kombat. That would allow the winning realm to invade, conquer, and even merge the defeated realm. But there is a prophecy that states that the blood of Hanzo Hashi would unite a new generation of Earth Realm's champions to prevent Outworld's victory. Now, each of Earth's champions bear the mark of the dragon, obtained either through birth or killing someone with the mark, which then transfers to the victor. Now, the mark is a sign that said individual possesses a special power, which will only be unlocked at the precise time when it is most needed. But before we can get there, we meet a cast of interesting characters on both realms representing light and darkness. Now having won nine tournaments in a row, the Outworld All-Star Baddies are one victory away from total domination. Led by the evil Shang Tsung, played by Han, he has assembled a motley crew of killers led by the artist formerly known as Behan, now rechristened as Sub-Zero. Former MMA fighter and punching bag Cole is taking savage beatings for chump chains to take care of his wife and daughter. And unaware of his family's lineage, he takes some time until it, it takes some time until he discovers his destiny and how the blood that courses through his veins may be the key to bring balance back to the force. Sorry, I couldn't help it. Now, as a person who never played the video game or saw any of the previous films in this franchise, there's no institutional knowledge that I can draw from. Admittedly, coming to this story cold, the film's fight choreography and action sequences are more than serviceable, even if the screenplay is rudimentary at best. Now, despite that observation, audiences aren't coming to Mortal Kombat for the acting but for the action, and this film delivers that and a whole lot more. Now, boasting an R rating for violence and bloody bad intentions, this film is effective in the fact that it plays like the video game that it represents. Now, speaking of that violence and blood, look no further than veteran horror producer director James Wan from the Saw franchise, who no doubt played a role in the ramp up of the film's gore factor. No matter what you think about the story, McQuo deserves credit for capturing the proper tone as well as keeping this film and story on the rails. It could have easily evolved into a cheesy adventure, but to his credit, or maybe the video game source material, this popcorn reboot of this franchise shows enough promise that a sequel is not out of the question. New villains need new champions, and maybe even an old friend may resurface. You'll just have to wait and see. 
I gave Mortal Kombat a B minus. This film was a lot better or a lot more fun than I thought it was going to be. And it debuts on uh, Friday, April 23rd at, on HBO Max. Remember to subscribe to our YouTube channel to read current or past reviews on the filmgordon.com. You can also follow us at Film Gordon at Facebook, Twitter, or Instagram. Thank you, and we'll see you on the other side. You enjoy your day.